Crips here and welcome. So last uh, tutorial it was a review on Corral Video 6 and one of the features I showed was the track motion. So that is exactly what I'm going to do today. I'm going to show you how to use track motion. Now I'm going to have to do this over a few tutorials because it's a little bit more to cover than normal. So I'm going to show you how to start with the basics. All right, so you place your footage into the main track you highlight the track and then you just simply click over here where it says track motion and here's your interface very simple window to use record this is when you start tracking your movement this is basically your timeline so where you wish to start so for me i will start at the beginning you can add as many tracks as you want in case you want to track more than one object uh, well, let's let's highlight it for one second i can rename this and i'm going to do so and i'll explain show you why in a minute okay now uh, you got the mosaic icon here so if I turn that on I can now pixelate a number plate as the car moves or if it's an interview and the person's moving I can pixelate their face like you see done on you know certain news programs so that's what this little icon here does you've got the uh, tracker point now if I click and drag you'll see that it instantly magnifies it so I can zoom in on an object and say, yeah, I want to track it right there. So I'm going to track his back and release. Now, if I was tracking, say, a number plate, this would be ideal to use. But since I'm not and it's a solid white background, I'm going to use the tracking square. And I'm going to do that because it's easier for it to track and it's easier for me as well because he may move out of frame a little bit. Anyway, I'll show you. Now, once you're happy with everything, so this is the area you're going to track just press track motion all right you got your percent done up here red means it's tracking and that's it and we're done you press ok and now we have this clip tracked and to know that we have you'll see that my track has a blue thin line at the top and that means this clip has been tracked there's a little icon here to show that this is a tracked clip now whether i delete this clip or not it's irrelevant because in my library it will always show you that this was tracked now if i don't want to have it tracked just click on here again highlight the one that you don't want and just press reset default and that basically takes the uh, the tracking away okay but we don't need to do that because this is what we're after now all i need to do now is track an object to it so i'm going to use let's say a title i'm going to say holy cow i'm flying or something like that Make your letters big, really, make it big. When you track it, it'll actually resize it for you. And I'll show you how all that works. Okay, so here's my words. Doesn't matter where you put it, I'll put it up here. Right click on Holy Cow. Actually, before I do that, I made a mistake. Make sure it's the same length as your clip, right? All right, right click, and you'll see here match motion. So let's match motion. And remember I said to you, uh, why should I rename it? Well, here it is, grips. I'm going to select grips. Now, if I have multiple tracks, I could probably lose sight of which one I want. So it's always a good idea to name it. Now, that is pretty well it. All I have to do now is press OK. And now I can literally press play, and holy cow, will follow my guy. Nice and simple. Look at that. It's perfect. It just doesn't get any easier than that. Now, obviously, I have a choice of placing this holy cow sorry, above his head, below it, anywhere. And that's done, again, just through here. So I'm going to go back to match motion. And I've got all these settings. Now, this is what I'm going to use in a later tutorial. This tutorial is basically how to get started using this simple little feature. And away you go. Now, I'll just go back to the original clip and highlight it. You can also add matched, like this. Now this will give you a little uh, place card holder. Now if I did the same thing, I would uh, track him. So here he goes. Okay, he lands, I'm done, I press OK. It automatically places this into the timeline. And all I need to do now is grab I don't know, anything you want, uh, your footage, samples, whatever. So let's just grab something basic. So I click and control, and now I have that in here. So that's another option if you want. 
and again I'll, I'll do a, a more detailed tutorial but I really just wanted to put this together just to get you started on how to use this now uh, before I go I'm gonna do a giveaway I've got three video six to give away so um, not on this tutorial so please keep an eye on my Facebook page which is basically grips facebook.com and it'll explain to you how you could win a free copy of video six and as always thanks for watching